welcome back at Border Paws Animal Shelter for our weekly edition of Pet Project. And today we have the gorgeous Rhody. She is absolutely just such a sweetheart and she listens to to command when we asked her to place and she's just so sweet. She but is. unfortunately with that sweetness comes a very sad story to yeah. how she came to be here. So tell me a little bit about that story and then about her personality and what her perfect fit would be. <laughs> so this actually isn't Rhody's first time at the shelter. Um, she came here probably around the time when we first moved into this building and she had been adopted out, mm -hmm. but unfortunately it did not work out and she ended up back with us. Uh, in total, she has been here for almost two years How? um she came back to us in april of last year mm -hmm. very good girl she's so sweet she's doesn't like other dogs so much anymore mm -hmm. i mean she she used to get along great with them but after whatever she had gone through after she had left she's just better in a single dog household but she, again she's so sweet she's yep. about seven years old so older girl but very polite and she doesn't jump either which is what i noticed when she first came in here not with people but outside in her kennel <laughs> she's a bunny rabbit a hopper for sure <laughs> oh <but> yes <laughs> i you know with bigger dogs you expect to be kind of barreled over a little bit but <clears> she <throat> came into the room and she was so sweet so chill maybe it, it could have something to do with her age or maybe just the circumstances in which she came in but yeah. she is just the sweetest so you would recommend a single household how yeah. about cats or kids for that matter kids she as long as they're not like in her face and super hyper she seems to be doing well mm -hmm. cats not too sure but i have a feeling where she's a bit dog aggressive that she wouldn't do well with cats either um so and, just a single pet household yeah but really any kids if they know how to kind of approach bigger dogs yeah some of them don't know their size and you could get accidentally bear i've definitely been pushed mm -hmm. over by a couple bigger dogs yeah. in my day so um not to say that that's an aggression it's right. just just how it is some big dogs don't know their sizes which is adorable in its own self but Rhody is just an absolute angel she's so sweet <laughs> um and you know i think she's she's just so perfect good girl now on to the topic of adoptions you had mm -hmm. an adoption event in vermilion and yes. then you now have one currently going on or will be going on with pet smart a week mm -hmm. their week-long adoption event so how did the vermilion one go and then what are the details people should know about pet smart's event so it was a really good turnout actually to the vermilion event we just want to send a big shout out to everybody who took the time to come down and check out all the dogs and other animals that were there we really appreciate it and uh, from the 15th to the 21st, we'll be having our week-long PetSmart event. We do it every year, and it's usually extremely successful. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to having everybody come out. We'll have a bunch of cats, other dogs. You'll get to, you can you always come down to the shelter and see who's here if they're not at PetSmart. But it'll be a whole week. I'll be there for a lot of the days. So look for the colors and <laughs> all the animals. And, and of course, we've brought this up before with these kind of adoption events. People can fill out their application and bring it in yes. ahead of time prior to the event if they know who they want or if they know that they're gonna walk away with an animal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and on our website, all the animals that are currently up for adoption are visible on there. You can read their bios and you can come in and meet them, see if they'd be a good fit because we are, getting around that season where it's lots of cats, lots of dogs. Yes, yes. and to kind of go off of the capacity, um, it is uh, that season where you will get a lot and you do have a lot of litters. <laughs> Stay and neuter well. your pets, yeah. please. <laughs> but on top of that, you guys are in desperate need of fosters. So tell me a little bit about what that process is and for anybody who's interested in fostering, how they can do that. So we do have an application process. You can either fill out a paper copy here at the shelter or online. Um, we do have a website, uh, foster at borderpaws.ca. So you can email and express your desire to be a foster because we are in that season, lots of kittens, lots of puppies. So we do really need some people because it's a lot mm -hmm. safer for them too because animals coming in and out of here all the time through bylaw, you don't know if they're sick. So we'd prefer that the little ones be in a foster home where it's just, you know, they have a better chance to thrive. 
And of course, it's a good opportunity if you've never, if anybody's never fostered before, to kind of get an idea of what it's like to have a pet as well, so they yeah. can kind of decide for themselves if they're curious. And again, it's just maybe you're just looking for a part-time okay. companion. Yeah. for a little bit just to make sure that they're good to go to their forever home and all that so there's lots of benefits <laughs> to uh, fostering yeah. especially here and I know you guys have had a lot of success with your fosters that you do have currently so any more will just be that much more appreciated of right, course. And it's a lot easier for animals too to get adopted after they've been in a foster situation mm -hmm. because they're already used to a house right yes. as opposed to being in a kennel here all the time we just would love to see them all get adopted and find good homes and like she's such a sweet girl. She really right. is. Now same question as every week, are there any donations that you are currently in need of? Yes, currently right now um, we do get some feral cats in and for our medical personnel we would really appreciate like the riot style shields, you know, like yeah. the pexi glass or just something to go on the arm just to kind of protect the arms and face from the the scratches, yes. I've gotten a couple, it can hurt. Cat scratch fever is a real thing, you can get really sick, so we're desperately in need of those. Um, Kong toys for the dogs, like Rhody, who are chewers, they can't really do the stuffies because they yes. swallow the fluff. Ingest and it. Yeah, peanut butter, um, preferably either the Kraft or Great Value brand because they do not contain xylitol, which is toxic to dogs. So Great Value or Kraft works perfect for these guys. Because again, that time of the year, we are also in desperate need of kitten wet food, kitten specific, not like adult, it has to say kitten on it. Because um, we, have, we have a few. Um, hey, sweet baby. Yeah. They're so and fans, like if anybody has big mm -hmm. fans, we do have air conditioning in the rooms with the animals, but there are some parts of the building that don't, so it's yeah. very humid. Especially in the back, yeah. larger space, so uh, I can mm -hmm. see it getting quite warm back there for sure. Yeah. So that's definitely a must and definitely need, especially for the summer if we're going to get more a lot warmer um, that we've already been so that's perfect and Rhody uh, you are a perfect guest as she always is. and I have no doubt that she will find her forever home we also still have all our merchandise available from 1234.ca so go on there tons of uh, sweaters hats lots of different designs to choose from and of course the money does come back to help animals like Rhody and to help with our fosters and to help all those little babies that we have coming in so you can also save on shipping by having it all shipped here right to the shelter pick it up from us and then you save on the shipping it's a pretty well, good deal wonderful yeah. well thank you again for joining me and like I said Rhody I don't have any doubts that she will find for her forever home. 